my 260s. Um, hope things are going good with you. Things are going great with me, as you might imagine. This is the lowest weight I've been since 2004. This is the lowest weight I've been in since I entered my 30s. Um, and I'm just going to keep on trucking. So, um, change number 11 um, was a result of my DXA scan, which, don't get me wrong, I wasn't, ha I wasn't unhappy with it. I was just, um, wasn't 100% satisfied with it. And the reason why is there was a six month period of time between the two DXA scans that I've had so far. And uh, in that six months, I lost 3.4 percentage points off my body fat percentage. Uh, extrapolating that over the next three and a half years does not get me to 15% body fat. So if that truly is my ambition, then um, I have to, you know, I have to make some changes that reflect that ambition. Um, I wasn't, I'm not far off a of 15%, uh, but, um, or I wouldn't be far off from 15% continuing on my present course. But so it, so it doesn't require that many changes. Um, I have done changes pretty much across the board. Um, most of them are minor little tweaks and stuff. But uh, the major change that I've done is on the diet side. And that is putting a floor, putting a minimum on the amount of protein that I take in in a day. Um, long time subscribers know that I don't believe in counting calories and, and points and stuff like that and I never counted grams of anything but uh, you know if I'm going to uh, you know if you know my conclusion after the DXA scan was that I have to take in more protein and eat less carbs so that I can preserve my my uh, lean body mass better um, and I can't do that unless I have some hard numbers to play with so um, so I do have to start counting, uh, start counting grams um, in a rough way. Um, now, as far as the amount of food goes, I've you know I've been able to keep up with my targets as far as total weight goes, uh, absolute weight goes. So um, you know I'm still going to continue on with that intuitive approach, eating when I'm hungry and stopping when I'm satisfied. Uh, served me well for the last ten months. I see no reason why I should uh, change that. But uh, within that amount, I'm just changing the macronutrient levels. And uh, I've always believed that, just from a psychological perspective, if you have to add something and subtract something else, then you should focus on the thing that you're adding, because it just displaces the other thing. Um, so if I increase my protein intake, keep the amount of food that you know I eat the same, then, you know, just... Uh, I'm automatically going to be eating less carbohydrates. Uh, it worked the same way when I back when I uh, changed number three when I added uh, fruits and non-starchy vegetables, a minimum amount of those. You know those uh, basically replaced the carbohydrate, you know, carby side dishes that I normally ate with a with a meat dish. So instead of you know chicken and rice, it would be chicken and salad. Or instead of uh, you know at lunchtime instead of having fries with my burger or whatever, um, I would have an apple and my burger. So, um, you know, it's basically the same thing. Um, you know, I just think that if you focus on the thing that you're limiting or that you're subtracting or that you're denying yourself, uh, you know, there's all kinds of tricks that, that your brain plays on you and gets resentful about it. And um, I just, I just basically, uh, you know, I've always believed that uh, it's just, if you can make something easier on yourself, then, then you're just going to stick with the change better. So anyway, um, my minimum for now, the starting point, is 170 grams of protein. Uh, how I came up with that number is just basically, you know, conventional wisdom is a gram of protein per, per uh, pound of lean body mass, and my lean body mass is 170 pounds. Now, there's no magic formula for how much protein somebody should be taking, and basically, generally, most experts say between 0.8 of a gram and 1.5 grams per pound of lean body mass. But it's it differs with each individual. Um, there is a sweet spot, and you kind of have to discover it by trial and error. So that's what I'm trying. Um, and like I say, the 170, 170 is just a starting point. Um, and... Um, 
you know, and so I now have to start looking at the nutritional profile of everything that I take in. Uh, while I'm looking at that, you know, while I'm looking at the amount of protein, I always just glance at also the carbohydrates. Just, you know, not that, um, not that I'm limiting myself to a certain amount. Although on days when I want to be ketogenic, on days when I, uh, uh, you know, technically if you are taking in less than 100 grams of carbohydrates a day, you are eating a ketogenic diet. Uh, there's, um, that then, and for me, that's not all the time. Um, you know, some people eat a ketogenic diet all the time. Um, I believe in the release valve theory. Uh, you know, basically, I eat a ketogenic diet when I'm above my targets, and when I'm at my targets or below my targets, it's uh, anything goes. You know, I pretty much eat what I want to eat because I just, you know, I, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I just don't think a life without pizza is worth living. Let's just put it that way. Um, so, you know, I, it enables me to live like a normal person, but also when I have to, you know, I, I keep the carbs down. So, um, so like I say, you know, I'm not going to be counting carbohydrates in any way, but just basically by informing my decisions by looking at the, you know, the amount of carbohydrates the foods that I eat have, it just gives me a good idea where I'm at as far as the carbohydrates go. But really what I'm going to be focusing is on, on uh, getting my uh, minimum amount of protein a day. Wow, I've gone seven minutes and I haven't got to the other minor tweaks. Okay, I will save those for the next video. Um, actually, the next video will also be a change video, so I might even get to them then. But I will get to them eventually. Um, so, yeah, next week, actually, uh, change number nine, which is something I started back in June, and I just didn't have a lot of success with it. Uh, but uh, I've been having some great success with it uh, recently. So I'll share all that I've learned uh, about that particular thing. I'll keep it a surprise for now. Anyway, have a great week, everybody, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.